So I did a little shopping. <laughs> Hey boo, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jaya, but you can call me Holly J. And as you can tell, probably by the title, I am doing my first ever collective haul. And I'm really super excited about it because I know that I've been MIA and not posting for personal reasons, but I have been shopping. And I wanna share what I've got to all my lovers of shopping out there, my lovers of fashion, people that are interested in my style. I wanna show y'all what I've been up to. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. So first and foremost, let's just get into the look because it's so cute. But anyway, I just wanna put some disclaimers out there. If you're a content creator, get you one okay because these lights be hot your makeup everything so i wanted to say if you are hearing a fan i'm sorry it's my little mini fan i got it for christmas okay but it is keeping your girl cool okay so she's staying and if you can't deal i'm picking her over you so but anyways, yes, I have things to show y'all. I'm so excited. I'm going to start with shoes in this video. And I want to start with actually a company that reached out to me and asked me to review some of their shoes on their site. Well, not some, just one pair. I chose a pair, but girl, they are so cute, so fire, so trendy because this color and the style are very much in for our winter wear. So uh, I just want to give a shout out to Vocosi for reaching out to me and sending me these these shoes and i was pleasantly surprised with the quality the look the feel the like i am blown away honestly and my only drawback is really their packaging and i let them know i was like y'all should really work on y'all packaging because these shoes are great quality amazing beautiful as expected yeah girl shop because because look at these bad boys i got these hunter green or emerald green whatever green you want to call them um ankle booties but they're crop embossed and yes the anticipation the anticipation y'all ready to see y'all want to see don't y'all oh you just saw <laughs> well here is the shoe baby with the gold detailing y'all these shoes are bad okay these are a bad these are a bad, okay? Like, first of all, I was like, what is this? Then I was like, okay, I see the name. That's familiar, Vakosi. But I'm like, okay. So then I open it up. My shoes came in little dust bags and all. Yo, bomb. Like, what? Now I need a purse. I literally just got my mama purse. Literally just got my mama purse that would be perfect for these. But she got the purse, I got the shoes. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> I have to uh, find me something, but girl, look at these. Look at the quality. Look at the detail. Like, these are very well made. Like, I do shop online for shoes um, whenever I need like heels that I want to be trendy and affordable, like Ego Official. These are like top notch quality, and I'm not gonna say Ego aren't, but these definitely beat the quality in those shoes like i was pleasantly surprised so thank you so much for Kofi, for these booties i am going to rock them don't you worry because they are fire and if you need me to try some more i'm right here ready to go okay so my next pair of shoes i got these back when i went to houston for halloween for my friend's birthday she's a halloween baby it was out there you know having a ball that's the galleria that was my first time actually at the galleria mall because i didn't get to go around my birthday so i did a little shopping i really did a little shopping but i really came up when i did that little shop because these bad these these like you've seen them everywhere really but you know i just be like mm -hmm. but when i got to actually put my foot in them try them on imagine what i'm gonna do with them i had to get them and i packed so light that trip that i was just like i don't even know how i'm getting these back home but they're coming with me i got these the alexander Vautier 
um dupe kind of boots in silver yes ma'am they are everything and i really hope to wear these on new year's if like my pieces come in because i have a look in mine but i have been wanting some of these and i finally got some and they really speak for themselves really like i know you guys have seen them they speak for themselves um yeah i, I don't have much more to say than that but boom like boom these are gonna get good good use as far as a boot because like i live in florida so boots they get their shine when they get their shine. But I definitely have a few ideas of how I'm going to style these. I got them in a neutral color, like the silver. And I chose silver over gold because I just feel like with a boot, it's more reflective. And it has more versatility as silver than gold um, because of just like the black and silver combo. Gray and silver, white and silver, um, denim and silver. It just... It's just more luxe feeling than the gold work. Cause I was really torn. And they had some brown ones. I almost got the brown, but it's like, let me get the silver first before I get like brown or a color. These are my babies, but I haven't even pulled them out yet. So since we're like doing accessories, so I'm gonna just move right into my bags, my new bags. Y'all saw one of them and here it is. This beauty, this brown top handle quilted with a clasp and a gold chain like okay it's just so classy so classic and brown i was really like loving the color i will say it's that off brown so it kind of serves more as like a nude than just like brown and so it can be tricky to style i did realize that but i know what to do so i ain't too much worried about it but yes i got this from target y'all Target has really nice accessories. I feel like I've told y'all that before. And I grabbed this bad boy right from out of Target. What's in here? Oh, and it came with a strap too. I don't think I would wear it as a strap. I feel like it makes it a little bit too casual and that's not why I got it. I wanted it to be very cute, very dinner, very much date night, very much, you know, night on the town cute okay i wore this and styled this it's actually on my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram so moving right along i think you guys saw this on my instagram too but it wasn't like put on display as much but it really is my favorite purse right now um i'm like in love with it and i think it's very similar to a balenciaga city bag um, which have been really popular with the influencers I've been seeing um, like Kyra she has like a all black one it's mm, it's it's beautiful this silver little bag I said I think it's like a Balenciaga city bag kind of dupe and it does come with a strap which I have been using so I've been wearing it with the strap but this bag is just everything it's made super well it's from aldo by the way and y'all know aldo is like the goat for purses and like accessories like they were here before like before i you know before the girls were really like doing the luxury thing and like really you know touching that bag and like spoiling themselves and stuff. aldo y'all know aldo was our girl is our girl and still is that girl because Look at it. Look at it. So cute. Top handle. Everything about it. it has its front pocket. I just love it. And like, I've been really wearing this bag. It actually belongs right there next to the pink and the white. So I had to kind of like fill in my, my um display back there. But she has found her home. She's beginning to use. My stuff's in here actually as we speak. So I am in love with this bag from Aldo so yes ladies like don't forget about Aldo like Aldo knows what the girls want just you know just give them a chance and they're affordable and you feel like you're spoiling yourself but you're not like you know keep it you know y'all already know the theme here so and if you don't you need to get with it so on top of that came this my everything bag 
It's just so cute. It's really just so cute and it comes with this water bottle holder. And so it's like this pleather bag, you know, not anything real or nothing, but like this pleather tote bag that just says my everything bag. It's just black with white letters. It's classic, it's resourceful, it's big, you know, but cute and like luxe, classy, you know, not sloppy, nothing like that. I love this bag, I had to have it. And as you can see, I have not used it and not to spill any beans or anything like that. I'm keeping things kind of under the wraps. But 2022 is looking like, it's, it's really giving rich. It's giving like rich and it's giving businesswoman and it's giving booked and busy. So I felt like I need to go ahead and get this bag because I'm gonna be like needing to chuck my Stuff. Like I'm gonna be neat. Like I'm gonna be needing my things, and I need them to be in in the same place. I need to be, you know. I just wanna really embody that whole. So I was really excited about that because I just think like that's gonna just be like the icing on the cake with everything that I am praying and hoping for in the new year. So this was like a cute pickup. So next, I want to get into this newest look um, that I have come across and like can't get enough of and I hope to get more colors in but I had to get the neutrals, the, sta the staples out of the way first. Um, I don't know if y'all know her, I'm sure y'all do, but Mina Monroe on Instagram. She has a boutique and honestly she was one of the first girls to really be doing it. She's based out of Miami and she came in with these fancy fringe sweatpants and when I say y'all, it's just like, I gotta have those. I need those because y'all know I love me like a statement pant. Like jeans are cool and all, but like I love something funky with my pants, something stand out, dynamic, something different. Like I just, I love, I, that's where I love for my like feminine edge to come in. Y'all know how I feel about my aesthetic. So I caught the gray ones first. And I know some of y'all have seen this on my Instagram and y'all loved them too. Um, I copped the gray ones first and they're basically just like high waist sweatpants with slits at the end. With the the most perfect slit by, at that. Like for heels, for boots, for sneakers, whatever. It's the most perfect slit. High waisted with the fringe on the side. It's just cute. And like... So versatile, you can dress this up, you can dress this down. And she actually sells these with matching bodysuits. I didn't get the bodysuit, I kind of want to now, but I, you know, I want to be able to dress this how I want to with like graphic t-shirts or dress it up with like a nice um, corset like top and tuck it in or like a um, Wolford inspired bodysuit, something that shows the curves, but then you got like this cuteness on the body. Like it's a lot you can do with the layer, all you, you know, you put a hoodie on, you can dress it down like I said, wear it with sneakers. So I've been actually playing around with it already. So I love these and I love them so much that I had to get them in black. So I got a medium in the gray and I got a small in the black. And honestly, they both work like they do. I guess the medium is a more relaxed fit, but not even. So I got the black pair. Actually just wore these on Christmas. I was cute or whatever. So next I'm gonna be showing you another piece I got from Target. This is actually a sweatshirt. And when I saw it, I was just like, that looks very trendy. That looks very on trend. It looks very much my style as well because it can be dressed down in this like feminine, edgy way. Like y'all just catch the drift, you know? Like pair, pair with um, leather or mesh or gray sweat like something cute and i can just see it and i had a vision for it but i have not actually worn this yet it's just been sitting here waiting on me but i got this little sweatshirt so it says stay smiling on the front and then on the side it has the smiley faces like y'all been seeing these they even have like the little slippers on amazon and in different little boutiques with the smiley face like the smiley face is coming back like it used it used to be Walmart's thing, but I guess it's getting rebranded. Y'all know how things come back and they get rebranded. So, and then there's a smiley on the back. So it's just like a, you know, a plain kind of fleece 
um, crew neck sweater, but I just liked the detailing on it. And I love like the pop of the neon green. I give it that like as you feel, if y'all know what I mean. So I copped this at Tourjay for the Lolo. So the next couple of pieces I'm gonna show you are from Zara. And um, they cute. So I got this gray two piece set. It's like a turtleneck, sleeveless top that kind of flares at the bottom. Just not to the, not any crazy flare, but like a flattering flare so that you're not just in this like fitted sleeveless top. It is fleece, so, well, it's fleece on the outside, but the inside is like that very comfortable um, fabric that's lightweight. So it gives the illusion of, okay, this is a winter fit, but you're not going to, you know, overheat. So that's the top. And then, and then I also got the bottoms to go with. And they're like these straight leg pants. But obviously, flattering to the woman's body. So it's like a tapered, well, no, it's like a, it's like a straight leg. It's a straight leg, almost wide leg. Not flare though, but like a wide leg sweatpant type thing. But it's it has so much potential to be dressed up. And I just had to have it like, I'm just like, this is like just a two piece set that's simple, but with the right accessories, like my silver bag, my Chanel necklace, my rings, my nails are done, my hair is done, my makeup is done. I put on some shoes of my choice. This is gonna be a look because it's so well made and it's a two piece set. Who doesn't love a two piece set? And then definitely like the turtleneck with the ribbed like material. Oh, Y'all just gonna have to see. Like it's just, I already know like it's just gonna be fire. Yes, I love this little two piece set. Like I can throw on some sneakers and keep it real chill and cute or like I'm thinking, put on just like not too high of a heel but something like a pump so that you can see like the details from underneath the wide leg. Like y'all gotta see it. Y'all gotta see it in your head. But yeah, definitely love this set from Zara. So this next piece, like I said, is also from Zara. It is this beautiful baby icy blue sweater, like cable knit cropped sweater. Like, and then it like zips and you can fold the neck down. Oh, just cozy, but like feminine, but also like not doing too much, you know, very effortless, like lovey. I got it in a small on purpose because I picked up the medium and I was like, it's already kind of given that oversized feel. So I don't want it to be too bad. So as you can see, it like tapers at the waist a bit. So that it can be a little more form fitting on the body, but then you have like the slouchy arms with the tailor in. Like it's just so cute. And then the silver zipper that's gonna fold down, or you can keep it up, whatever you want to do. I love it. Love it. Love Not gotten to wear this yet, but looking forward to it. Now y'all know I had to pull in some of the affordable baddie in this because that's how I roll. That's where I frequent, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever get it twisted, honey. From Ross, okay. Ross Just For Less got me right, okay. I got this um, like off the shoulder, kinda off the shoulder, sweater knit dress in this cream color. And it's so flattering to my body type and my shape and everything. Um, I wore this out already. I think I wore it for my alma mater's homecoming. There was an event and I was like, oh, I already shot. I know what I could do. Boom, bam, I was good to go. And it really was a hit, like it really was. So kind of similar to the blue um, sweater that I just showed you, the taper ends for you know, flattering the female figure on the arms. And then it's like this kind of off the shoulder. It kind of like lays about here um, on the shoulder. And then it has 
the thing to tie around the waist to kind of accentuate the waist but it already cinches at the waist and then it does this beautiful like draping on the front just very flattering in this cream ribbed knit material but girl i love this it was so cute and it looks even better on I actually have another dress from Ross that you guys have actually seen on my Instagram already in like my whole nude ensemble. So I got like this kind of bustier corseted dress with these, you know, puffer sleeves, not too puffed, but very feminine sleeves. I really loved the color. It's like so cute and it really goes with um, my Target bag which I actually wore together with my new Ego Official heels. It was a look, it was a vibe, I was feeling it. I filled it out real nice and it has like the mesh detailing along with the bandage detailing and then you have these little strings here to kind of accentuate, accentuate the womanliness of yourself and then the bustier cut out for the breasts. Um, I'm very pleased. I was very pleased with this dress. Still very pleased with this dress. Made out of really great quality. Has a zipper on the back. Very flattering. Um, definitely did what. Definitely gave what it needed to give when I needed it. So, so the last few things I have are I guess the suit jacket. So I got this little jacket. You actually, I know you guys probably have seen some of these things. Um, like the rhinestone studded hoodies and stuff. So I found one in Ross and it said baddie, which I thought was very fitting. But also it's black and the rhinestone and like the drippy material. Very much feminine edge, very much me. With these fire flames at the, at the, um, what is this? The wrist of it. And... Um, the other side, yeah, so cute. I mean, obviously very like basic, you know, it's just a basic zip up hoodie with a silver um, zipper and um, you know, nothing much to it, but it's just, it's, it's the whole look because of the rhinestone and then this detailing and this detailing, like it'll just take, it'll just take you putting on your your leggings or like your two piece you know leggings set to go run some errands you put this little jacket on you look all the way put together put on my silver purse oh i look even more put together put on my silver tr oh oh that's what it takes y'all that's what it takes so i definitely grabbed this and i have been using it because you can kind of see that i've been using it because I done washed it, you know, you know how clothes do. But anyways, so this next thing, I'm not even gonna front cap with y'all, like, typically I would not spend that, like I would not spend what I spent to get this, Um, typically. I had like this vision of an outfit that I really, 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 really wanna bring to life. If it like will look how I think it's gonna look in real life and on me, but, um. I will say, I went to Amazon first, like I always do. I looked on Amazon first to see if they had it for more affordable price, you know, something like it. But I saw it on this one girl's boutique. Her name is Audie Simone. So I think it's Shop Audie, Audie or Shop Audie Simone, one of the two. And I was like, dang, only sis got it. And like the way she styled it, she had my boots and everything i was like see ya i'm gonna need i'm gonna need to get the one she has because i could not find anything like it anywhere else so i got this metallic silver metallic sleeveless puffer coat it's like a cropped one it has these adjustable like little thingies at the bottom to make it more form fitting on the waist which i love which means this is made for a woman you know made for a woman with women in mind and then it has the turtleneck to it which I loved a lot as well so this was just exactly what I wanted it had silver details because the ones I was finding on Amazon had like black zippers and it was just throwing me off I'm just like why can't y'all just get it right but anyways I grabbed this so I got plans for my boots and my puffer jacket hopefully it comes together if not I'm gonna find another way to use it okay but 
Like I said, I would not normally spend what I spent to get this. It wasn't nothing ridiculous, but it was ridiculous to me. So, yeah. So, this thought in my head needs to work, basically. Because we invested in it. I'm super invested in this look, so I needed to come together. Girl, so this next piece, oh, I hopped on it ASAP once I saw it. And then I saw Regine style it. Cause I was I had my eye on it for sure. Like I already had my eye on it. And it wasn't the cheapest, but it wasn't nothing like it wasn't ridiculous. I'm not gonna say it's ridiculous to me because it is a custom design made by the um the store or owner that I got it from, they made their own design, so I understand why you would name your price. It is really a look, and you guys have already seen it in my ginger hair. I got this John Collection Certified Lover Girl Varsity Jacket, which obviously the varsity jackets have been in style. Y'all already know. She basically dropped this around when he dropped his album, which is so dope. And it's like, she's not even connected to him but she's smart yeah i got it in this colorway i got the black with the red and the cream definitely i feel like the best option to me um most useful to me so it just says like certified on this arm with the red stripe on the wrist the J is just like such a perfect touch because my name is J, it starts with a J, so it's like, it just works. But it's actually for the John collection, which I think is a Philly, a Philly term. And then it has a little Cupid on that side, the, the red detailing, the black with the silver details. And then on this side, it says, don't take my love for granted. And then KID, Heartbreak Kid. Yeah, and then on the back, she really went off on this. That's why I'm like, since I gotta have it, like she really went off. It's like 3D on the back. Wish I could feel it. It's like this rose, and then it says, um, Lover Girl. It says Lover Girl, because then the certified is on the other shoulder. And then this one says, More Love, More Life. Like, it's really like Drake. Run since her coin. Cause what? I got it in a medium though. I really wish I got it in a small so that it was more flattering like for a feminine look. Cause it's kind of masculine and kind of big on me. But I was able to make it work. Y'all saw on Instagram. And like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, you go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I styled this piece. And I really love the outfit that I came up with. If I had them Givenchy shark boots, it really would have set. It would have really, really, really set the outfit off, but I don't own those, so. Until then, but I love this. It's just a whole vibe on its own. You don't have to do too much. Oh, and look at this detailing. Look, just it's just so much detail. And then she has Sucker for Love and Flash on here by the pocket. Like, it's just dope. It's just a dope piece. And definitely speaks to my style. Cause this is my edge. And then I added the femininity with my next piece that I want to show y'all. Next piece is this Wolford um, bodysuit dress kind of dupe. And guess what girl? I found it on Amazon. Right? <laughs> Cause um, all the boutiques were having like their own version of this. And I was going to shop. I really was. But like I said, I always check Amazon first. I do like it just it just is what it is and I found it for a better price same thing works just as well like I love this like I left the review on Amazon and everything because I want women to know if they're looking for one this is a great purchase it's very well made thick straps breast support like it does what it's supposed to do um it, it snatches you in and then it has like the rubber on the bottom so it's not riding up like it's really perfect i don't know if i would use it under something as shapewear it's i don't think that's the goal of this this is kind of supposed to be a basic in my opinion but i love this and for my big my big boo girls it had it did me just fine and I was going to say detachable. Oh, yep. They are detachable. So you can do the strapless look, which I might do next because, okay, I might do strapless next. Hmm. 
So that's the end of my first ever collective haul. Definitely leave me a thumbs up or a comment that you enjoyed this because I can't obviously do more and obviously they won't be on a regular because i'll have to build up and then show you but i'm open to doing so so just let me know if you enjoyed this video thank you so